Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the New York City Man Cave and my channel, El Chombo Custom Dioramas. Please don't forget to follow my IG, El Chombo underscore NYC, because you know that is the place to be. The link will be posted on the description below, so you could go ahead and you know follow my instagram as well and if you have not subscribed by all means after this video if you like give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well so anyhow before i go to the table with the completed project or part two of galactus versus the silver surfer today i learned something interesting watching another youtube video of a fellow statue collector and practically they were interviewing this young lady who called herself a statue collector widow or for a male will be widow -er. so in other words she's a companion of a statue or toy collector who is denied time affection and attention or incurs financial loss due to their you know addiction and all this other stuff, you know, as far as toy collection or statue collection, you know. And it occurred to me that after all these years that I've been collecting and building diorama, I've been thanking all kinds of people on YouTube and Instagram, but I have failed to thank the most important person of my life, which is my wife who's been supporting, you know, me with this craft, you know, for this long and, I totally agree. I mean, there's a lot of college hours that, you know, I spend up here in the man cave doing these projects, you know, trying to make other people happy. But by all means, you definitely got to think or thank. Think about that significant other and thank them as well for their support. So, wife, thank you for supporting me on these two years of collecting and you know doing things with dioramas so with that being said here it is ladies and gentlemen the completed project galactus looking amazing going after the very elusive walgreen exclusive silver surfer sitting on this beautiful piece of planetary real estate that I created using formula foam and styrofoam at the base and if you remember I was going to embed some light so let me go ahead and remove these rocks very carefully you know these were the brittle type of foam you know brittle in other words I made them look rocks remember I used the mixture of cracked cracked eggshells some sand some pebbles and some other materials some glue and gave it that beautiful texture here on the surface if you notice all around okay I am not turning the uh, project with my little turntable because uh, remember I have the lights embedded and I have wires coming out the back which is plugged Currently, so I just wanted to, you know, you to focus on how the texture came out on this foam. It looks absolutely and feels absolutely terrific. The texture, it actually feels like a real rock, ladies and gentlemen. I wish you could actually touch this. Anyhow, I'm going to place the, you know, the rocks back in place. Uh, these are hard, you know, uh, hard straws. I was able to embed them in the foam. They are permanently affixed there. However, I only use hot glue so they could always come out and so on, you know. The Silver Surfer, I use some Velcro and some little suction cups right underneath the surfer board, the surfboard and so on. And uh, Galactus, it, he floats, he's not actually glued to anything. However, if you notice on my left, 
And on my right, I have the Predator and Major Dutch. You know, these are neck of one quarter scale figures, and I have a stand for them. You know what I? You know what I mean? So, uh, this particular figure, you know, this is something that me want to be uh, go ahead and incorporate on this figure so it could stay in place not fall you know this is a very hard figure to get and very expensive as well so uh you know the measurements on this uh bad boy is actually the dial is only four inches but the figure is 16 inches so that's a total of 20 inches in height okay we have about 11 and a quarter you know, wide right here, and about 13 and a half inches long. So, you know, it will not uh, fit in a detail, unfortunately, but you could always, you could always find a nice table to place it on. Now, the lights, you know, this, this is the moment of truth. Remember, I created some clouds or some smoke. I gave it some black, red, and blue paint. So I'm just gonna place these on top of the light fixtures and so on, okay? Boom, right next to Galactus' feet, okay? And I forgot to toast everybody. Every, uh, salute. Here are the lights, here is the light switch. You know this is a dioder, you can find these at Ikea. And we're gonna see uh, in a minute how it's gonna look with the lights dimmed a little bit. So let me go ahead and Turn this down a bit and turn this one down and turn off my studio light. Okay, we can still see uh, clearly here. So let's go ahead and sit right back next to this magnificent project and boom. Look at how beautiful this project looks with the lights on, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, uh, this is the project that I am debating to either keep or take to the Comic Con this October, you know, for display or for sale or for showcasing. Help me out, ladies and gentlemen. Post on the comments below what should I do? Should I keep? Should I sell? Okay, these lights are terrific. You know, you could always change multi colors on it and so on, take great pictures, you know, for those that love the uh, 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 toy photography and whatnot, and so on, and this is it, ladies and gentlemen, this is the completed project for Galactus after the Silver Surfer, please post on the comments below what you think of this project, by all means, I will read your comments. I will definitely reply. Give it a thumbs up. And by all means, if you like this project and you want to see future uh, projects, you know, just go ahead and subscribe. That's all I'm asking, okay? And by the way, I'm going to finish out with this. The Predator right there and Major Dutch. You know, I have him sitting in the corner back there. You know, I need to make them pop too, so who knows? I may just find me a nice little foam and create a nice little uh, jungle dial and put them together. You know what I mean? So stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen. With that being said, keep loving, keep creating. Peace.